I was very surprised and at the same time very humbled because Belize is my birth country. It's a great honor. I've won many awards before, over a hundred. This one is especially, you know, unique and dear to my heart because it's the first award I've received from my country of Belize. So it means everything to me, this award. You know, and in terms of my feeling, it's um, very humbling and it's like very appreciative, you know, coming from my birth country. A key ingredient in realizing that sky's the limit is to do not allow anyone to impose their own self-limitations upon you. People have a tendency to say, well, if I can't do it, what makes you think you can do it? And sometimes they try to drive that home and force it down people's throats. It kills ambitions, it kills dreams, and that's not right. Instead of saying to someone you can only go so far, be encouraging and let that person find their own path. And I, as I said before earlier inside, I believe in self-fulfilling prophecy. If you tell people they have talent, they can do anything, the sky's the limit, they will actually believe it and they will conceive, believe and achieve what's in their hearts and minds. Conversely, if you tell people, oh, you're just average, you're regular, you have no talent, then that too will be a self-fulfilling prophecy and they won't be overly ambitious because someone else had already determined their path for them. Misery loves company, right. So circumvent the negativity, do not participate or tolerate the crab in the barrel mentality